Hey, what's guys? Camp and Russia here. Welcome back, everybody, to another Fortnite video. Today, we are going over basically everything that's coming out through the new season. So many items, new boss mythics. Also, specific improvements to skins, such as having, if you have dress shoes on or, or sandals, it'll make different sounds. Uh, so just more customization for, for Fortnite skins. There's a lot. Stick around some 7 talk. Uh, let's jump into it. First, finally, the uh, Spider-Man web shooter mythic is here. I have not gotten a chance to play, and I'm not even going to have time to play today. i got to wait till tomorrow to, to try these things out. I'm so, so excited to try out the Spider-Man mythic. Uh, I've, of course, got gameplay going there in the background for you. Everyone just loves it. Uh, everyone's saying it's one of the best mythics, if not the best they've ever had. Uh, I mean, I knew it was going to be a hit just from the trailer. The, the movement already looked so fun. And the way I always bring this up, the way that Epic Games dealt with the baller, the baller vehicle, the movement on that vehicle, right? There was a little bit of skill to it, but once you got good at it, you could move fast, you could get momentum. And I, still, one of the most fun vehicles slash items I, I think the game's ever had. So, so yeah, I'm excited. That's my point. Here is all the spawn locations. Uh, it has a 90% spawn chance in a backpack attached to walls, okay? The backpack drops heals and a chance for an unlimited or a limited version of the item. The limited version has 80 shots. He says, let me know if this is wrong. I even thought this was a, a, a weird, I don't know, specific thing, right? When I first heard about it. But honestly, having a bunch of people with the Spider-Man mythic rather than just one guy... Uh, I, I think it's a good thing because everyone wants to just try out this mechanic rather than just one out of a hundred people every game But have minimal ones with unlimited and then a bunch with, with limited versions limited shots uh, Yeah, I think that's a good way to balance it out the upcoming butter cake animal the dinosaur the beast whatever you want to call it uh, It will have a consumable that spawns around him in stacks of ones codenamed big fruit and named butter cake berry The consumable can also spawn in food boxes in stacks of two He has no idea what it does maybe instant full HP slash shield just another portion of one of the updates We're looking forward to this should happen by week seven remember uh, they should be frozen uh, It could be before it's, it could be any time before week seven, but there are challenges mentioned these these dinosaurs hopefully rideable and, and tameable <laughs> uh, some of the things that come out of my mouth man this game is so weird but that's why we love it epic are working on a feature for reboot vans that requires gold at the moment it's unknown what the feature really does i think we can kind of all assume though if you're not able to collect your, your buddy's reboot card if you've got enough gold saved up, you, you can bring your you can bring your buddy back anyways. I, I, I'm all I'm all for updates like this. I, I just it's it just like when you're playing with your friends, y you want any way to get them back, right? You want everyone to have a good time for as long as possible. There's an upcoming and unfinished boss mythic shockwave bow. It's also been added to creative in 19, but there's literally no other info about it. What are your predictions? Who would this belong to? Will it be buffed compared to the past? Uh, yeah, this one, this has always been a super overpowered item. Not in a bad way though. It's a fun item, right? Overpowered's not always a bad thing as long as it's fun <laughs> and not too angering for the guy, uh, uh, the guy you're eliminating with the thing. Possible bear wildlife teaser and camp cuddle. There's also these unreleased animal sounds. Roar, probably for the bear. Sneeze is probably for the dinosaur or the beast. And then lure and charge could be for either of these. Like I said, animals, items, just we have so much stuff coming to the game. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with Nodi's on. I'm your guy. I'll keep you up to date on all things Fortnite. You just got to get here. Next here, upcoming pizza party heal item. We finally understand this is a heal item. I was confused uh, of what this thing did. Max stack one and is eight slices. Consume time 1.5 seconds. 25 per slice is, is your heal uh, or shield amount. Heal caps 100, shield caps 50. So he can't go all the way up to 200. That's interesting. Can be thrown at friends and enemies to heal them. Pizza slices can be found, picked up alone, and stacks it too. That's funny you can heal heal opponents too. We can already see some of the funny Reddit clips we'll get from that. <laughs> Feeling bad for a guy and you, you, you toss, toss a pizza slice at him and it heals him. I have enjoyed that mechanic too, right? Same with the mist. You're able to, to spray your buddy. 
uh, and spray yourself while moving. Uh, I I've enjoyed that. That's kind of a, a new thing to the game, this chapter. This one's a weird one. The NPC that I talked about approximately two months ago from Hypex turns out to be Sergeant Winter. He's going to be driving a Christmas Trask truck. It has balloons, I think, and it plays Christmas music and jingle bell horn sounds. He's also supposed to drop things, probably the unreleased candy consumable. And I'll show you, I'll give you a look at <laughs> what this thing looks like. It's so it's going to be driven by an AI, right? Sergeant Winter. And I guess this is like Santa, right? Santa sled. Uh, it's just a little creepy. <laughs> That, that mustache, like it's kind of nightmarish, right? I, I think this is such a funny thing, though. It's just going to be AI-driven, driving around the map. My, my thoughts are everything Winterfest, like that update coming up, 19.01, is going to be this Tuesday. We assume the 14th, next week for sure. I think that's when all this Christmas stuff is dropping, right? Our winter stuff, because uh, I don't know where else they would put it. So expect a ma even though it's 19.01, expect a pretty massive update next week. And a guy, again, I'm your guy. I, we're trying. I can't do another transition for for the subscribe. We already did that. But yeah, stick with me. I'll keep you up to date. This one just cracks me. This one, this one weirdly gets me excited for the update next week. Upcoming loot sources. Uh, just summing it all up. Some stuff we talked about. Bad holiday gift box. Sergeant Winter Vehicle, Gifts and Weapons. Uh, so I think it's going to be more than just candy. I think, yeah, Gifts, Weapons, you can hop on, uh, and it'll just rotate around the map. We'll learn more about it next week. Buttercake Bush, uh, Buttercake Elimination, Rare Meat that gives 50 HP. Okay, if you take down these dinosaurs. IO Brute Boss, uh, Mythic SMG, IO Compound Team, Mythic Shotgun. So that's who's going to drop our Mythic Shotguns. And then the IO Field Team. SMG and Hypex adds to this. There's only going to be one mythic on the map and one mythic shotgun The rest of the IO guards carry a blue SMG So there's not just going to be a bunch of mythic SMGs running around and remember the IO stuff The IO guys should start popping up soon. We know Sloan. I talked about this last video Sloan and the IO are apparently drilling their way through the the bridge the in-between uh, From our old map right chapter 2 map. They're, they're, they're drilling up to us right now so they'll be here, right, to, to cause more havoc and, and and do their evil things, right? They're, they're obviously enemy number one. Uh, so, yeah, that's when the IO stuff will, will come, whenever they make it through. Fortnite upcoming item info. Shield sprinkler. Max stack one. Lifespan 30 seconds. Shield per uh, 0.4 seconds is two. So 150 shield in 30 seconds. That's kind of a cool one, man. Again, just yeah, a, lot, a lot to do with healing your teammates and... and uh, the team aspect of the game. Uh, shield Aura, regenerate shield to you and nearby allies over time, up to a cap. Max shield it can give is 50. So seems like pretty pretty similar items there. If you remember, a month or two ago, it, w it was leaked that they are working on smart building. And what that means is you'll basically have, you turn smart builds on or off, and there'll be preset builds, all right? A, a tower, right, a, that goes up two or three, a, a protected ramp, a box, and uh, there, there's an update on that now though. New information on it for 19. When on, building pieces are chosen based on build mode, tower bridge, protected ramp or box, and view direction. So it's coming, right? It's coming. It's basically you're gonna be able to instantly place, well, in, you click your button and I assume like, I don't know if it'll instantly place the tower or instantly place the bridge or if there'll be some delay. Cause yeah, I mean, it's going to be good for like it's for players who don't build as much, but you know the sweats are going to find a way to, to make it overpowered. And I, yeah, I'm, I am excited to see how it plays out. And it, just like the sliding, anything that, that makes for fresh fights, I am always a fan of. That's why I'm loving the new chapter so much. Here's that skin feature I was talking about at the start. Epic are working on improving skins with these upcoming unique sounds for different clothes. Shoes. Heels, dress shoes, heavy barefoot, sandals, sneakers will all have different sounds when walking, when walking, right? Uh, clothing, robot, scales, tactical gear. So when moving based on the type of clothing you'll have, it, it'll sound different. And then gloves on your hands. I love that, man. It just, it's super detailed and something that I, I honestly wouldn't have even thought of. But, but of course, is, is a good change for the game. I was going to include this yesterday, but I, I honestly just missed it and forgot. I missed one of my tabs. Uh, but it's the Paradigm. The Paradigm may appear this season. One of the seven, of course. Her allegiance is unknown right now. Uh, she's going to be important, though. She will be appearing in some form or another as the final dice quest has you plant space rocks to help her identify dead drops. 
So we are going to learn a lot more about the seven. That's one of my main uh, main things I'm excited for throughout the season. And with that, this is just a concept, but from Dusky, when we finally get to see all of the seven unmasked, it, it's going to be so hype. And uh, remember, there's opinions that uh, Donald Mustard is is underneath the the mask of the, the the origin, who we haven't even seen that guy yet. We've already got the Rock. And I think it's going to be a trend. I, I don't think it's going to stop at, at just The Rock for, for the actors playing um, the, these Fortnite characters. And I'm all for it. I, I think it's cool. Thanks for watching. Take care. Talk soon, everybody. Goodbye.